Our solar system is only a tiny section of the Milky Way galaxy, one of an estimated two trillion in the universe, but it's still home to some of the most mysterious and shocking phenomena, from extragalactic jets to a 1600 foot asteroid set to collide with Earth. I'm Michael Fliss25, and here are 25 insanely cool things in our solar system. 25. Jupiter's moon Io is like hell. Out of all the moons orbiting in our solar system, Io has to be the most terrifying. It's plagued by extreme temperatures, with volcanoes sitting on top of an ocean of lava. This fiery atmosphere of sulfur dioxide makes it toxic and deadly, and how we might imagine hell. If the heat wasn't bad enough, then intense magnetic fields with high radiation are enough to make sure that anything landing on this moon's surface doesn't last long. 24. Enka Gap Saturn's rings are one of the most impressive sights in our solar system. From a distance, they appear to be perfectly smooth and unbroken, but up close, there are a number of spaces. One of them, called the Enka Gap, is caused by the moon Pan. First observed by German astronomer Johann Franz Enke, it's believed that the gravity of Pan pulls on particles in the rings, which are mostly ice and rock. This gravitational pull even maintains a gap that's big enough for the moon to move through. 23. Occultation You might associate the word occult with underground groups summoning up supernatural spirits. In astronomy, though, occult refers to when an object moves in front of another. That sounds pretty simple, but it gets more complicated depending on which object we're talking about. During a lunar eclipse, for example, the moon is in the shadow of the Earth, making it appear dark or a red-brown color. And sometimes, throughout a moon's elliptical cycle, stars disappear and reappear, helping astronomers identify which ones are double stars, meaning stars that are so close together they usually look like a single one. 22. Extragalactic Jet no, I'm not talking about some VIP way to travel the universe. Extragalactic jets are huge beams of particles coming from black holes. Think of them like incredibly strong spotlights shining out into the universe, sometimes as far as millions of light years, making them easy for scientists to spot. As far as we know, they work in a curved way, destroying almost anything in their path as it shoots out in a huge amount of heat. 21. A rugby ball exoplanet. Planets come in different shapes and sizes. Even the Earth isn't really a perfect sphere. It's what's called an oblate spheroid, where the poles are flattened. Planets do tend to be roughly spheres because gravity pulls objects from each side over thousands, millions, or billions of years until the surface is more or less smooth. However, a planet named WASP-103b is an exception. It's more than 22 times larger than Earth, and is about 1,200 light years away from us. What stands out is its appearance, which can be likened to the oblong shape of a rugby ball. This happens from tidal deformation, a much stronger version of how Earth's oceans are affected by the moon. 20. Super Neptune has water. Water is an essential ingredient for life, and Earth isn't the only place that has it. 150 light years away, in the atmosphere of a planet named TOI-674, astronomers have found water vapor. It's been called Super Neptune because of its massive size, about 100 times that of Mars. The relatively cool atmosphere of the planet allows for water, and scientists are eager to keep investigating it to see what it tells us about our own planet. 19. Flash Cooking a Planet The Hubble Telescope is one of science's greatest feats. Orbiting Earth at speeds of 17,000 miles an hour and weighing over 24,000 pounds, for decades it's been used to peer deeper into space than ever possible with the naked eye. Now we can even observe the births of planets to learn the different ways that they can form. One of those is through a short, intense burst of energy, which was recorded directly for the first time with a planet called AB Aurigae B. Gravity ferociously tears apart the circumstellar disk, a collection of gas, dust, and small objects to form planets. 18. Another water planet. All these numbered planets can get confusing, so let's call this next one Super Earth. Astronomers refer to it as TOI 1452b, but Super Earth gets its nickname because it's pretty likely its surface is covered in water. 
The evidence comes from measuring its density, which is several times greater than Earth's, despite being just double the size. The theory is that the extra weight could be explained by a massive amount of liquid on the planet. If that's the case, then Super-Earth, located around 100 light years away, could even be harboring life, too. 17. The Fluffy World If that last planet was the Water World, then TOI 3757b is the Fluffy World. It orbits a red dwarf, the smallest kind of star, which doesn't have as many heavy elements as stars like our Sun do. This may be how this fluffy planet became so mushy, as it didn't draw in thicker gases as quickly as other planets usually do, and is why it's been compared to the consistency of a marshmallow. That sounds amazing. 16. Water in the Distant Universe Water is less common than you might think in the universe, being made up of hydrogen and oxygen atoms. Hydrogen is easy to come by. It was created at the Big Bang and makes up almost 75% of visible matter. Oxygen, however, is much less common, making up just 1%, as it's generated in the intense activity in the middle of stars. There are galaxies filled with water in a different gaseous form too, like in the Helix Nebula, distant stars, as well as on the surface of asteroids and comets. In fact, asteroids are one way that water may have made its way to Earth. So next time you drink a glass of water, think about how it traveled light years through space to make it straight to your lips. 15. Zodiac Light Zodiac Light sounds spooky, but what it is is just light reflected off dust, asteroid pieces, and other objects in space bouncing back to Earth. There's zodiac light in other parts of the universe too, like on three exoplanets that have all been ranked as super-Earths. The zodiac light there means comets and asteroids must run through the solar system, just like in ours. 14. Pluto's heart literally beats. Pluto, which used to be classified as a planet, wears its heart on its sleeve. The brightest part of its surface has been named Tombaugh Regio. More poetically, it's known as Pluto's heart which is made up of an ultra-thick layer of nitrogen-filled ice sheet. Reacting to the temperature, this ice melts in the daytime and then freezes again during the night, which turns out to be a critical part of Pluto's climate. As nitrogen is released from the ice, it then generates winds that circulate through the air, kilometers above the surface. In this way, Pluto's heart really does beat, pumping wind throughout the dwarf planet to the rhythm of freezing and melting each day. 13. Bernard's Star The fourth closest star to Earth is called Bernard's Star, and has been the subject of investigation for over a century. For years, a controversy divided the scientific community. The question? Whether or not a planet orbits Bernard's Star. Some argued that there was a wobble in how the star was moving, which is what normally happens when planets interfere with its movement. A decades-long back and forth followed, and now most believe that it was a false positive. However, the controversy continues. 12. Pulsar Stars Okay, deep breaths. We've got another long-numbered star. And this one looks more like a math equation than a name. It's PSR B1257 plus 12A, or simply known as Lich. Why is this star special? It's what's called a pulsar, a star that shoots out huge amounts of radiation. As it turns rapidly, it produces the same effect as a lighthouse, but instead with electromagnetic radiation. Lich spins more than 160 times every single second, filling the neighboring space with intense flashes. 11. The first exoplanet. In 1995, astronomy made a huge new discovery, one that earned two scientists the Nobel Prize and brought the expansive universe a little closer to Earth. The discovery was the planet 51 Pegasi b, which was groundbreaking because it was the first ever to be found orbiting a star similar to our sun. In fact, that's what exoplanet means, a planet that's orbiting around a star that's outside our own solar system. And for this exoplanet, each orbit of its star takes just four days, rather than 12 months. Its discovery kicked off thousands of similar planets being found, and still counting. 10. Gas dwarfs. For centuries, planets were either rock-based worlds like Earth and Mars, or gas giants like Neptune, Jupiter, or Saturn. 
That was until a little over a decade ago, when a new category was uncovered, which astronomers called gas dwarfs. These include Kepler-11f, which has twice the mass of Earth, with a rocky core at the center surrounded by a dense atmosphere of helium and hydrogen. 9. Cassini Division I've already talked about the Encke gap in Saturn's rings, but that only spans about 200 miles. The biggest gap in Saturn's rings is much larger. Named the Cassini Division after French astronomer Jean-Dominique Cassini, this gap is created through a different moon, called Mimas, which moves the particles on the edge of the Cassini Division, pulling them aside to open up a gap about 3,000 miles wide. That's over 10 times the length of the Grand Canyon. 8. Circumbinary Planets The planets in our solar system orbit just one star, the Sun. As far back as the 1970s, though, some have speculated that planets could, in certain conditions, orbit two stars. Of all places, this idea was first formulated in Star Wars, on Luke Skywalker's home planet of Tatooine. It turned out that Star Wars was ahead of its time, even though it was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. It wasn't until much later in 2005, when Episode 3 came out, that one was discovered in the real world, now referred to as a circumbinary planet. 17. Bennu. Don't panic, but there is a 1,600-foot asteroid weighing 74 million tons heading straight towards Earth. Detected in 1999, Bennu has about a 1 in 2,700 chance of colliding with our planet. Its size and weight would be unlikely to wipe out humans, like what happened to the dinosaurs, but it could easily destroy an entire continent or region, erupting the energy of almost 1.5 billion tons of TNT. 6. The Messenger's Mission to Mercury Each spacecraft is launched with a specific mission. For Messenger, which took off in 2004, that mission was to gather as much data as possible about Mercury, 56 million miles away, and the planet closest to the Sun. Three and a half years later, Messenger went into Mercury's orbit, where it stayed for another four years, providing 10 terabytes of data. It discovered that the planet has a magnetic field, just like Earth, mapped the surface for the first time, and analyzed its composition, which is high in potassium, chlorine, and sulfur. 5. Mercury is shrinking Speaking of Mercury, something that's well known is that it's shrinking. Deep below its surface, the planet is slowly losing its heat, which causes metal, rock, and other compounds to contract. This process leaves the surface with wrinkles, and parts of the terrain squeeze together and over one another. Since the shrinking was first observed in 1974, Mercury has decreased in size by about 4 miles. That's about the length of the Las Vegas Strip. 4. Oxygen on Venus If you teleported yourself onto Venus right now, you wouldn't last very long. Extreme temperatures over 800 degrees Fahrenheit, 96% of the atmosphere is made up of carbon dioxide, an atmosphere that's so thick your body would be crushed before you could even try and breathe. So, yeah, it's a pretty hostile place. And while not enough to save you, there is a tiny slice of oxygen in the atmosphere, about 60 miles above the surface. It's created when carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide are broken down by ultraviolet radiation in a kind of greenhouse effect. 3. Polar vortexes on Uranus Over on Uranus, things are turning. The ice giant isn't as cool and calm as it once appeared. There could be cyclonic activity, or a polar vortex, on its north pole. It's been known for decades that there is a polar vortex on the south pole, but only recently, researchers have been able to get a good look at the northern part of Uranus. Up there, compounds like ammonia and methane form cyclones, rather than the water vapor that forms cyclones here on Earth. 2. The Geminid Meteor Shower Mark your calendars for November 19th later this year if you want to catch the Geminid Meteor Shower, which lasts until December 24th. It's a 2024, in case you're watching this in the future. If you are lucky enough to observe the collection of bright shining objects drifting through space, well, you have 3200 Python to thank, a three and a half mile asteroid that heats and sheds to create the Geminid meteor shower. One, astronomers capture the longest video of an exoplanet. Ever see those old time lapses of people growing older? Well, scientists have gathered the same kind of thing for an exoplanet named Beta Pictoris b, composed of 17 years worth of footage. 
The compilation lasts just 10 seconds, but it shows the planet orbiting a star and was linked together with the help of artificial intelligence. What's even more remarkable is that this isn't even the full orbit. For that, we'd have to wait another six years. So, would you go into space if given the opportunity? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones, links in that description. Now, did you know that the US Air Force is constantly tracking around 47,000 pieces of space junk? Or how about the fact that we've now sent robotic spacecraft out to every single planet in our solar system? Click here to learn 25 more insanely cool facts about our solar system. Because clearly you like space stuff or else you wouldn't have clicked this video. So let's do more space. Let's do that space. Right here.